A very warm welcome my dear friends to Canopy of Science. Today we are going to learn about nervous tissue. So let's embark on this journey. Happy learning. Brain, the decision maker of our body. Whatever actions we do, like we walk, we run, we eat, we sleep, we study, every action of our body are controlled by the brain. Our emotions, being happy, being sad, being angry, all are controlled by the brain again. The different functions performed by our body like respiration, growth and development of our body, digestion, excretion, circulation, reproduction, etc. all are controlled by the brain. So the system which controls and coordinates all the actions, emotions and functions of our body is called the nervous system. The nervous system consists of three parts. Number one, brain. Number two, spinal cord. And number three, nerves that originate from brain and spinal cord. The nerves that originate from brain are called the cranial nerves. Whereas the nerves which originate from the spinal cord are called the spinal nerves. Now comes the question, what is brain and spinal cord made up of? It is made up of the tissue which is called nervous tissue. Now let us see what is the nervous tissue made up of. A group of specialized cells with highly developed properties of irritability and conductivity forms the nervous tissue. Now you may have the question that what is irritability? So irritability is the property by virtue of which nervous tissue responds to any external stimulus. Example, when we touch any hot object, immediately we remove our hand. Isn't it so? This is because the irritability of the nerves of our hands can sense the heat of the object and the brain sends the message to remove the hand and immediately we remove our hand from that hot object. Here the heat of the hot object is the external stimulus which is irritating the nerves and the nerves in turn help us to remove our hand from that hot object. So what is conductivity? Conductivity is the property of nerves which help them to transfer or carry the external stimulus from different parts of our body to the brain and spinal cord and in return they also carry the response sent by the brain and spinal cord to the different parts of our body. Let us understand with the help of an example. Here you can see the hand is touching a hot object and can feel the heat of that object. The heat here is an external stimulus. This stimulus is carried by the nerves to the brain. The brain will then first assess the stimulus and sense the response, remove the hand. This response is again carried by another nerve from the brain to the hand and ultimately the hand will be removed from the hot object. So this is the conductivity of nervous system or the nerves. Now let us see what are those specialized cells which are forming the nervous tissue? These cells are called neurons. Neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous tissue. These neurons are the fundamental units of nervous system which possess the ability to receive any stimuli either within the body or outside the body. And in turn, they send impulses or response from the nervous system to the different parts of our body. Let us now see how a neuron looks like. This is the structure of a neuron. The structure of a neuron can be broadly classified into three parts. This is the cell body or the cyton. This is the axon and these are the axon terminals. From the cell body originates short processes which are called dendrons. These are the dendrites. These are nothing but the branching of the dendrons. The axon is a single long cylindrical process 
which at the end or in the terminal gets branched off and this branching terminals are known as the axon terminals when neurons are enclosed in a sheath they form nerve fiber more than one nerve fibers bound together in parallel bundles to form a nerve so what is the function of nervous tissue number 1 they receive stimulus number 2 They send responses after assessing all those stimulus. Number three, by this process of receiving stimulus and sending response, the nervous tissue controls and coordinates all the functions of our body. In the coming videos, we will learn about a detailed study of the structure of neuron. So subscribe to Canopy of Science and stay tuned. Thank you for listening with patience. If you have any doubt, mention it in the comment section. Until next time, stay healthy, stay motivated, and keep learning. As knowledge is everywhere, you just need to grab it.